Welcome to Mr. Stanish's studio, non-objective painting part one using elements and principles. Learning target. You will be learning representational, abstract, and non-objective art. You'll also learn the differences between each style. Success criteria. You'll be able to design several thumbnail sketches of a non-objective painting using the elements and principles of art. You will create three unique non-objective designs, having each one painted to three different color schemes. The first artwork we're going to talk about is representational art. What is representational art? It is an artwork that has images and subject matter that is easily recognizable or realistic. As we can see with Audrey Black, her composition is set up of a box of crayons. With our next art form that we'll be learning is abstract art. Abstract art is an artwork that captures the essence of someone or something. Abstract artists select and then exaggerate or simplify the form suggested by the world around them. With the examples I have of Pablo Picasso paintings, we are able to recognize what he has painted but they are exaggerated and or simplified. With the painting to the left, his cubism portrait, we are still able to recognize that there is a man that he painted. In the middle with Guernica, we are able to recognize the different type of animals, objects, and people. But once again, he has exaggerated and simplified. In the last one, woman sitting in chair, he has taken the form of the woman and of the chair and simplified it into simple shapes. Now to our last art form, non-objective. Non-objective art is artwork that has no recognizable subject matter such as trees, cars, people, animals, etc. It could also be known as non-representational art. This is a great example of a non-objective abstract painting. This was painted by Jackson Pollock titled Lavender Mist. He used the technique of splattering and dripping his paint on the canvas. The reason this is non-objective is because you are not able to recognize anything in his composition. He had used lines, texture, color, and movement to express his art. Here are two American artists who painted using the non-objective style of art, Mark Rothko and Franz Klein. The air Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko, and Franz Klein painted in was called Abstract Expressionism. Abstract Expressionism is a style of art where you express yourself using the elements of art, such as colors, lines, shape, form, and texture. The work they created during this time didn't show anything that was recognizable, but the artwork did have meaning. So let's talk about creating a non-objective design. First, what is a design? A design is an organized arrangement of elements and principles. So as we are looking at the composition to the right, the composition is going to consist of pattern, movement, balance, contrast, variety, and then it's going to have the elements of shape, line, and space. As we look at the next two pieces of artwork, I want to discuss how well the artists organize their work using the principles of variety and contrast. Variety is how the artists use several different types of elements such as lines, shapes, and form. Contrast is using the opposite of elements of art side by side. It creates a visual interest such as a straight line next to a zigzag line, an organic shape next to a geometric shape. In the last slide, I'm going to discuss the principle of movement, patterns, and repetition. Movement is an arrangement of parts in an artwork to create the sense of motion to the viewer's eye through the work. As we are looking at both of these images, they are both conveying that principle of movement. The lines that are going throughout the entire composition is creating that sense of movement 
and it's also creating us to follow that line and to examine the entire composition. Repetition where an element will occur over and over. The element repeats in either in a consistent and or a variation of patterns. Both of these are showing pattern and repetition. This is the end of part one. Part two, I will describe in how you are going to create non-objective themes.